Let's go on the web browser and enter the IP address of the Linux API server. The username and password are admin admin. Click on IX Network Web Edition, and this will bring you to a Linux API server. And we're going to start a new session. So click on New API Server, and this will take approximately 30 seconds to come up. We're going to create a blank config, enter new config. And the first thing we're going to do is configure the license server. And you will enter the license server IP address inside double quotes. Select the model, subscription, or perpetual. Now we're going to connect to a Ixia chassis. So under hostname, enter the IP address of the Ixia chassis. Now we're going to create two virtual port, one for each topology group. And for each of these virtual port, we're going to map it to a physical port. We're going to add, create a second virtual port and add the second physical port. Optionally, you can give it a name. Okay, virtual ports are created. Now let's assign them to topology groups. We're going to create a topology group and assign port number one to topology group number one. Topology group number two with uh, virtual port number two. Create a device group with multiplier of three, which means we're going to create three IP hosts. Let's take a look at our configuration. And this is in widget mode. Uh, widget mode. Let's create a Ethernet stack. Go back to table view, click add and commit. We're going to configure the VLAN ID first. Select counter for the multi-value. And we're going to uh, use multi-value number five to configure our VLAN ID. And here we're going to state the starting VLAN ID. Okay, let's go back to the Ethernet stack. And we're going to enable the VLAN. And we're going to do this in multi value number four, which is given to us. So Enter true. All right, now let's create an IPv4 stack. And we're going to configure uh, the IP address first. And inside the widget view, you can click on any of the stack and it's going to take you directly to uh, the configuration mode. Okay, to configure the IP address, it's uh, telling you to use multi value number 8. So on the sidebar, you look for multi value number 8 and enter the starting address and the step. Go back to IPv4 stack and we're going to configure the gateway.
and we're going to do this in multi-value number 10. So you search for multi-value number 10 on the sidebar. Look for a counter and configure your gateway IP address. Now let's create a BGP stack. Let's take a look at our configuration. Uh, we have the Ethernet, IPv4, and BGP stack. And we're going to configure the .IP address. change the multi-value to counter because we want to increment the IP address. And we're going to do this in multi-value number 16. Go to the sidebar menu and look for multi-value 16. Look for counter, edit, and enter the starting IP address and the step. Now we're going to create uh, some route advertisement for this BGP. So go under topology group number one and under device group number one. We're going to collapse the Ethernet so you can see better. Click on network group, add, and then how many uh, networks do you want to advertise? So I just entered 1000. So we're going to advertise 1,000 BGP routes. Now we're going to click on IPv4 prefix pool. We're going to configure the actual network IP addresses. Okay, we're going to use multi-value 107. Look for multi-value number 7 on the sidebar, click on edit, and then the starting uh, route advertisement IP address, and the step. Okay, let's take a look at our configuration. All right, so we have the full stack plus network group configured. And topology group, group number one is complete. And you would do the same for uh, topology group number two. So let's assume you already configured uh, topology group number two, and this is how our configuration will look like. And we're going to start, uh, press the start button, and this will start all protocol. You're going to wait for uh, green colors for all the stack. Green means for IPv4 means uh, ARP uh, resolvement and uh, BGP means uh, all sessions are up if it's green. Otherwise, uh, if they can't come up at a, for, at a certain amount of time, it will be red color. So we're going to create a traffic item. And the first thing we're going to do with uh, a traffic item is we're going to add the endpoints. And we're going to select our destination endpoint first, topology group number two, and then our source endpoint will be topology number one. Okay, with uh, endpoint created, now we can configure the config elements, which are the uh, frame rate and frame size. And the 
total amount of packets we want to send. Okay, for this traffic item, we want to track uh, statistics and we're going to track flow group uh, for this example. And you're going to enter flow group zero at the end inside double quotes. All right, now we're going to apply the traffic. You enter apply so you don't have to scroll down looking for it. Next, we're going to start traffic and you enter start, click on start. So this traffic should be started. So you click on statistics and then click on widgets at the top and you will see stats. Yep, and there are transmit and receive stats. I am at the end of this tutorial now. I am going to stop the traffic. I hope this tutorial helps you understand how to use the Linux API server. Come back soon because we are continuously improving the ease of use with widgets. Thank you for watching.